Hello, and welcome back to The Long Dark. Um, it's been about a week since I've uh, done a video. Last week was a little crazy, so uh, it's good to be back. And uh, now that we're back, we have a new update. And this is The Long Dark um, uh, with the Desolation Point update. Uh, which is the latest and greatest. And one of the things that you'll notice, I'm starting from the main menu this time, one of the things that you'll notice is the main menu is a little different. Um, it actually starts out uh, like this. Uh, story, sandbox, options, and quit. Uh, you'll notice the load um, the load is gone. And the reason for that is that if I go into sandbox, <coughs> I have the option to create up to five saved games, uh, which is very cool. Um, so, uh, so yeah, so, and then of course, you know, we can resume, we can load. Uh, resume, presumably, is, is the latest one, but if I go into load, um, it says choose your sandbox, and so, and then it lists all the information, um, and, uh, you know, that's very cool. Now you can have multiple saved games, which is something that uh, people have been asking for for a little while, they finally gave it to us. Okay, so, um, so when we last left off, uh, we were inside, um, a house in Coastal Highway, and right now, um, they put out the new update, it has a new zone, why don't we go and move our stuff to that zone? Um, luckily that zone is accessible from Coastal Highway, uh, so, Let's go and do that. So we're going to have to move everything back uh, towards the the other direction because it is past uh, Commuter's Lament. Um, the other thing that they talked about, um, you'll notice that the font is a little smaller um, now with the, the UI. It's not as ginormous. Um, but another thing that they did is that um, this is your new condition screen. Um, so it it lists, you know, warm, rested, full, dry mouth. Um, you know, your different conditions uh, going down uh, this way, as opposed to it being down here and going up. There's a bedroll button, so you can just pull out your bedroll. There's a start fire button, so you can start fire. Your afflictions are here, um, how long you've survived, how many hours of daylight, and then up here um, are your your tabs. So here's your backpack that hasn't really changed very much. Um, and this is your log. Uh, so so anyway, that's, that's all different. Um, so right now, um, I'm a little bit thirsty. Uh, and, you know, I'm still pretty full, uh, stomach-wise, though. So let's uh, let's head back. And now uh, let me check right here. Did we drop all of our stuff off? Okay, we did not drop our stuff off. Uh, so with that in mind, let's just keep carrying it. Um, let's drink some water. Okay, and then, sh uh, that's pretty cool. It shows me, you know, what I did. Okay, so, here we go. Let's head down the stairs. Um. Now, there are a number of other updates. Um, you can apparently forge things now. Um. And, um, the soundscapes are better, uh, the visuals have gotten better, they have changed the weather system so that it makes a little more sense, storms just don't come out of nowhere anymore. Um, so here we go. Um, they've added a new condition which is light fog, uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, 
Um, <clears throat> so now we're going to head back along the road. Um, you'll notice the UI is very uh, is getting more and more minimal, uh, which is uh, part of the direction that they're taking the game. Um, currently working in Voyager mode. Um, you know, just so that we can explore some of the new stuff. We got, you know, we did the bow and arrows. Um, we're going to head into Desolation Point. And, um, and we'll take this as long as we possibly can, but I think the next time we're going to switch back to Stalker. Try to, try to work on Stalker and get a, a, a good number of days out of Stalker. Um... So anyway, yeah, so they, they're, they're making, they're still making these updates to the game. Uh, we're gonna move all of our stuff back to, um, uh, back past the gas station and further along, um, cause apparently Commuter's Lament is open and that's the, that's where the new zone is. So we'll head, uh, we'll head over in that direction. Um, uh, with that in mind, uh, it's important to note where the zones are located now. Um, both of the zones, uh, that I can get to from, from here beforehand, which was Pleasant Valley, and uh, Mystery Lake were both up there. Um, um, you know, they, they were both up in the, up in the mountains, uh, and they're both far away from the coastline. Uh, apparently, Desolation Point is um, close to the coastline. Oh, it just fogged in, didn't it? <laughs> Um, but, but Desolation Point is close to the coastline, um, so I'm not even sure if there is a connection from it to any of the other zones. Um, they haven't spoken about it. They, they give us a gift by telling us, um, uh, by telling us where the, uh, you know, basically how to get there, uh, which they didn't do beforehand. I can hear a wolf. Basically, I want to... Oh, that's very cool. Oh, I like that a lot better than the, uh, than the old one. It just sort of uh, dissolves in and then dissolves away. That's very neat. Okay, so we're going to keep going. Um, but anyway, what I was saying was uh, desolation points along the, the coast, so I'm not sure if there's any way to get from uh, Desolation Point to either Pleasant Valley or Mystery Lake. They haven't said, um, like I said, they gave us a gift by telling us how to get there, um, in the, in the update notes. Um, and so, uh, so, so let's, let's take our gear. And we'll head over there. And now, uh, it should be important to note, this is my first time playing since the update. Um, so I have no idea uh, what it looks like, how to navigate through it. Haven't looked at any maps. It's a new place to explore. Um, and also we get to explore the transition zones too. 
With the new update, they introduced a new fuel source, which is coal. Um, and coal is used to bring a fire up to the temperature needed to actually forge things. So, so we'll see how that works. We'll try to, we'll try to do some of that. We also need, um, there's also a hacksaw, which can be used to break down, um, can be used to break down other, other things like metal objects and stuff for scrap metal. So anyway, so here we are, we're heading down, heading to Commuter's Lament. Let's just check our condition. Okay, so it's a little bit cold. I see. Uh, if you noticed just before, um, down by where the weight is, there was a little symbol there, just sort of like an icicle or something, um, to indicate that we've gotten past a certain cold level. Um, so that's that's kind of cool. Um, the icons are very, very small, though, uh, I should note, so I don't know if there's a way to increase the size of them, necessarily. I guess, I guess we'll find out in a little while if they're too small, like, I don't notice them, or if they're just, it's just a matter of getting used to them. Um, in general, I tend to like the smaller size uh, on the PC, just because, you know, I'm not playing on a television set, I'm not playing on the Xbox. So, the, the smaller size tends to be better as long as I can see it, as long as it registers to me. <laughs> um. <clears throat> okay, so down here, you can definitely hear wolves. Which is good, because we were kind of worried about the wolf population before. Um, I remember a couple of videos ago, uh, we were looking around for wolves and couldn't find any, and couldn't find any wolf bodies either, so... <clears throat> now, we have wood, we can make a fire, uh, if we need to. Here's the car down at Commuter's Lament. Pretty sure I've checked this one out already. Uh, just to be sure. Oh, goodness, no. Hmm. Pop in the car. Wow, I thought I'd been down to this one already. Let's check the glove box. Okay. Alright, let's keep heading into Commuter's Lament. There's our signpost. Pick up some rose hips on the way. Travel to Crumbling Highway. Sounds like a plan. Here's Crumbling Highway. And it looks aptly named.
Hmm. Okay. Please don't fall on me. Please don't fall on me. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> so this is Crumbling Highway. This is uh, part of the transition zone. There are these trees that are fallen over and let's take a look crumbling highway yeah that's that's that tree I don't think we can get up there let's go out and down here can we walk very far out on this lake I don't know if there are any, um, like shanties or any anything out here. Well, I can hear, I can hear the crows. I don't know if there are any, um, if there are any uh, predators out here. a little town site right here. Check the mailbox. Abandoned Harris home. Okay. Well, we can see why it's been abandoned. There's some benches we can break apart. We don't really need it, though. Can't go inside the house. Can we go in the basement? <gasps> we can. We can go into the basement. Quite excellent. Okay. So here's the basement to the Harris house. Oh, see, like, look. You can now break down the metal shelves. There's some simple tools. Heavy hammer, suitable for metalworking. A pry bar. Best be prepared for anything. There's some scrap metal. There's a rifle round. There's a metal container on top. Nothing in there, though. Oh, goodness. There's a lot of good stuff around here. And then two cans of accelerant. Okay, here's a washer and dryer. Cotton long underwear we can break down for um, and there's a cherry can hidden, hidden in the corner. Okay, um, I think that's about it. We're warming up, so we should probably stay here to get a little warm. Er, uh, we're feeling a little peckish. So let's go into here and let's uh, eat and drink. Let's drink a little bit. And, uh, and we'll eat. Yeah, the font has definitely gotten smaller. Um, that's okay, though. It's just a matter of getting used to it, that's all. Uh, do we want the simple tools? I think we'll keep the simple tools here. Okay, let's head out. <clears throat> Always important to check those basements. There's also a car up here, too. And the fog has gone away, so let's check the skies. They're over there. Oh, 
hello, bunny. Picking up the crow feathers. It is a ravaged deer carcass. Uh, getting hungry, getting thirsty. Okay, so, uh, it's still warm enough that we're okay. Um, let's eat and drink just a little bit. And, uh, we'll eat a little bit of that. We are running a little low on food, if you'll notice, so we're definitely going to have to deal with that issue. But let's head over to the car. <clears throat> um, the other thing that we've done is we've... Um, Another thing that they've done is they have provided a way to put this stuff will come in handy. Anything down in the world, um, anywhere. So I'll show that to you in just a second. I'll open up the trunk. Hmm. This will come in handy. All right. It is getting a little bit uh, heavy around here, so let's uh, let's harvest this guy. Take out some of the weight here. Harvest that guy. This harvest that guy. Okay, and I think that is about it. Um, we'll eat a little something. We'll drink a little something. Um, got like two scrap metal. We got this hammer which is suitable for metal working. That's good. Oh my gosh, this is so heavy. These jerry cans. Alright. Let's try to get into the next zone. And um and then find a place to dump all this stuff and then head back. So this is the crumbling highway transition zone. Um, which is pretty interesting. Here's some more crows. Wow, this is, uh... Uh-oh. Didn't even see that guy coming. Mm. This is the road collapse. 
There he goes. Let's uh, let's first aid ourselves. Him coming back. He is not interested in me. I think he is bleeding out. Very interesting because he had no, like absolutely positively no interest in me. This is the road collapse. Look at that. There's a rabbit carcass. <coughs> We're getting sleepy. There's a daylight left. Is that him over there? That is him over there, I think. Or that's a deer. There's also a cave there, too. That is a deer. That is a dead body. Huh, some wood in a backpack. Probably useful. Yeah, very useful. Okay, is this just a little cave? This is just a little cave. Okay, I think we're going to spend the night here, actually. Um, let's harvest off of this guy. Okay, now it's getting dark. We'll head back into the cave. Pick up the firewood. We'll start a nice little fire in here. Get rid of some of the weight that we've got. Um, start a fire. Oops, right here. We'll start a fire, and we will cook. Uh, we'll do some cooking, and then we will go to sleep, and we'll wake up here uh, tomorrow, and then continue from here. Um, our goal is to... Let's get rid of the cedar firewood first. Um, we have a bunch of stuff to cook. Forty nine 
one minute should give us enough time to drink do the same thing at the same time by drinking the soda first and then uh, let's eat some of this food drink So now, uh, what we want to do is we want to pull out our bedroll, drop it down, and uh, let's sleep for eight hours. Now, assuming that we can do this okay, we're going to pick it up. Well, we're going to pick this up from wherever we uh, from wherever we wake up. So if the fire goes out, which is going to, and then if we start getting cold. Nope. Looks pretty good. Alright, uh, let me eat and drink. Uh, so we're gonna eat a little bit. And we're gonna drink a little bunch. Okay. Uh, then we're gonna go back to sleep for, like, another, I don't know, like uh, three hours or something. Okay, and this is where we're going to pick it up next time. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you've had fun, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.